Hi beautiful ones and thank you for clicking on this video. I'm Andrea Gonzalez and welcome to Fruitfully Nourishing. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you don't miss a video Today that I, I to talk out. about the best bra for breast health. And I know one of my subscribers, she wanted me to uh, see, she actually suggested this topic. It was from a video that I created about how I found a breast lump and the results came back as it was benign, but I wasn't satisfied because I wanted to know why did the breast lump form? So within that video, I tell you why it formed because we all wanna know why. We, we know it's there, well, but why the was techniques it? that I did to help reduce the lump? And right now, as of now, I don't feel anything in that area. So if you wanna check out that video, I'll probably try and put it somewhere on this video or within the comments or the description post it there in the description so it turns out wearing bras without underwire can actually be much better for your breast health because the breast tissue contains a lot of lymphatic tissue and the lymphatic system is a part of the body that is responsible for getting rid of the toxins and movement is what helps the lymphatic system to to drain which is why jumping on a trampoline is recommended no more than 10 minutes a day you can do it seven days a week or six days a week so that way you can have proper lymphatic flow get rid of some of those toxins and also help with circulation in the body so when you wear underwire bras what it does is block this movement and what happens is women run the risk of holding on to toxins within their body. So you wanna be mindful of if your bra is too tight or it's just the wrong size, you want to at least do your own proper measurements at home. There are plenty of YouTube videos that can show you how to do it, or you can ask someone in the department store or in the, the lingerie area to help measure you so that way you can pick the proper size and it's not on too tight so you want to make sure it's not tight because you know like around your waist it's when you take it off you have like this indenture so that's just letting you know that your bra is too tight and you really need to make sure you're wearing the proper fitted bra so that way it doesn't block the lymphatic system now there was a study that was performed on 4,000 women and there were some that the ones that wore their bra for 24 hours per day it was three out of four women had a higher risk of developing breast cancer and then you had some women that wore their bra for 12 hours per day and they had a 1.9 percent of developing breast cancer and lastly, you had women that just did not wear a bra and they had a 0.59% of developing breast cancer. So the proof is in the pudding right there, you guys. If, if you can go without wearing a bra, more power to you. But if you, you, you can't and you have to go to work and you just don't want things moving all over the place, you have no other choice. Of course, we have no other choice, okay? and you have to wear one. But if you must wear one, try and choose one without underwire. And as soon as you get home, take it off. Even during when you sleep. I do not wear a bra when I sleep, okay? So um, yeah, you really wanna be mindful of that. And if you can't go without a bra and make sure you're choosing one with no underwire. Now there was a Japanese study that was performed on women who um, wore bras had a significant lower amounts of melatonin. So when you wear a bra, it's actually reducing your melatonin. And then there was also a study performed in France where women's, women who did not wear a bra, their, their girls were perkier. Yes, they found out they were perkier. So I'm just saying, if you want some perkier girly girls you may want to take some of my advice i'm not a doctor but just these are studies that have been performed and they are accurate studies 
So just be mindful. I mean, it's entirely up to you what you do, but I hope that you take my um, opinions and my recommendations into consideration. So where should you start? If you are looking to ditch under wire, I suggest that you try bralettes. Bralettes are really cute, dainty, very feminine. I love the ones with lace. I absolutely love them. They're very comfortable. It takes some time to get used to, especially if you're used to wearing underwire and bras that do a lot of lifting. Um, it will take some time to get used to. And, but keep in mind, you're doing this for your overall health and your breast health as well. I do want to keep, let you guys know that I am not sponsored by Victoria's Secret, but this is one from Victoria's Secret that I have, and I absolutely love it. And it's so comfortable and it has no underwire. It's so smooth. It's so soft and it just molds and melts right into your body. If I have a link to it, I will give that you guys to uh, within the comments. But if I don't, I will give you some of my recommendations and to the best bralette. Bralettes are cute, y'all. They are cute. So just don't disregard them. They are cute. Okay. And I wanted to offer some other tips. You want to make sure for breast health, you want to make sure that you're doing a monthly self exam in the shower. And you also want to make sure that you be mindful of the products that you are using topically. That's all over your body and your girls get hit that too. You know, so if you're using lotions that are not organic, your skin is the largest organ and it absorbs everything that you put on it. So be mindful of that. Look for organic and really you want to look for products that do not have um, phthalates or parabens because those are the two main ones, especially for the body period. But if you're putting it around your girly girl areas, you really want to be mindful of that because your body it absorbs it and it's toxins. So your, your, your skin is absorbing toxins you already have toxins build up because if you're not jumping on a trampoline or you're not doing any type of movement every day you are running the risk of having toxic buildup not just within the body but you want to be mindful of the liver the liver is the most important organ so you want to make sure you're eliminating toxins from there so work out move get yourself a bra without no underwire, get some, do your self breast exams monthly, or you can have your OBGYN do it for you. If you don't know how to do it, ask your OBGYN and what they can do is print out some information on how to properly do that. And you also want to make sure you're doing massages. There's certain ways that you can do massages. You use um, either your lotion or an oil, uh, organic oil, uh, I will give you some recommendations in the description as well. If you would like that, that's entirely up to you, but you want to make sure you are massaging the area, helping with circulation and toxins within the area and making sure the lymphatic system is moving how it needs to, removing some of those toxins out of the body. Thank you so much for staying until the end of this video. And if you feel this video was of value, go ahead and share it with a family member or a friend. And I will be greatly appreciated for that. You guys always be blessed, be fruitful. Bye.